Sudanese ambassador to Kenya has condemned the ongoing conflict with South Sudan, saying that SPLM government needs to move away from their land for any comprehensive negotiations to take place. Be, uh, be mindful. If there is only one soldier there, we will not negotiate until we make sure all of them get back out of there. Oil is clearly the main reason as to why the fight has been going. On one hand, the South Sudan government says that the money charged to transport oil to the Mediterranean is exorbitant, while on the other, Sudan government says it's a simple transportation levy. Now they are telling us that for our oil to pass through the Sudan, a pipeline we had contributed to build together before we became two states, they would charge us $36 a barrel. This would automatically mean that we would lose 60% of our oil to them. We uh, wrote to them, we told them, we notified them to live up with their obligations and pay the cost of uh, processing, exp uh, transporting, storing, as well as using the uh, uh, port facilities, and they refused. So. Uh, we decided to cut or take part of that oil as a cost for the transportations. The two countries keep on apportioning blame to each other and none wants to accept they are wrong or else come to a mutual understanding, especially now that Sudan wants South Sudan to pay for all the damages incurred following the conflict. Now, people are saying, why did the Sudan, so the Republic of South Sudan close down the oil fields? Already Bashir had already closed it down. They prevented our oil from going out. They took the rest without our permission. They prevented the, the, the ships from coming to dock at, in order so that we load more oil. So why would we be allowing the oil to be pumped when we are not getting not even a dollar from it? We have lost almost 40,000 barrels a day due to that aggression. But I think our economy is... Uh, flexible enough to absorb such shock. With the two states maintaining their stand on not withdrawing their troops unless certain conditions are met, stopping the conflict could become more difficult than expected. The region is concerned that the conflict could turn out to be a full-blown war barely a year after a peaceful separation. The ongoing conflict between these two countries has not only seen loss of lives, but the economy as well has been affected. A first solution needs to be found in order to save these two countries from further damage. Margaret Kenwa, GBS News.